My name is Deanne Beekman. I am from Crystal City, Missouri, and I am a junior at Hannibal LaGrange University. So growing up, I was in a Christian household. We would go to church every Sunday. As, as I got older, the conversations began to switch from who Jesus is to how we are called to live like him. And I never felt like I truly learned how to love Jesus or how he loved me. So I was constantly striving for a perfect way to read the Bible or a perfect way to pray for my friends and family, and I never found it. Go figure. Um, so being the perfectionist that I am, when I realized that I couldn't ever get it exactly right, then I got super frustrated and I chose to stop trying altogether. I had made some faith professions when I was eight and when I was 17 that I never fully understood. I just felt like the atmosphere and seeing my friends and family live this way, I felt like that was the correct way for me to live my life, but it was never something that I felt in my heart was right. It was like I was studying for a test and that's what I needed my answer to be. Since coming to HLG, I have found a Bible-believing church in Emmanuel Baptist and my friends have played a huge role in keeping me in church and encouraging me to go even when I want to sleep in and um, they've just kept me on this path of searching for the answers that I had. Um, I learned that asking questions is not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you don't want to learn, it actually means that you you want to learn more. And for a while I felt like constantly questioning what I was being told meant that I didn't believe it. And I am learning now that asking questions is exactly what the church, church wants you to do. Flashing forward to December, Emmanuel Baptist hosted a cookies and cocoa night at HLG. It was intended to be a time of fellowship for students in the midst of finals. Um, and through this night, I connected with Pastor Leewood and he led me through a conversation about my spiritual health and my mental and emotional health. He helped me realize that God's love is not dependent on my love for myself. He, he knows me, he loves me just the way I am, and there's nothing that I could do to negate that. The more, the more I grow, the more I realize that I have a lot of work to do, but I am learning to lean on God every day for things that I used to seem um, pointless, just like just getting through the day. I have learned to just, you know, pray throughout my day like, God, I need you in this moment. I need you to get through this day. And um, I'm just learning more and more about His love and His grace and um, how to show it to others. I have decided to get baptized now because I have put my trust in Jesus and I believe that He is the creator and savior of the world and I want to display that to my church community. I know that baptism isn't the act that saves me, but it does display what I've chosen to, um, how I've chosen to live my life to my friends and my family. One verse that has been influential for me during this journey has been Ephesians 2, 4 and 5, and it says, But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ even though we were dead in trespasses. You are saved by grace. And that verse has calmed all of my anxieties. Um, every time I beat myself up, that I broke my Bible reading streak or that I feel like I'm not praying hard enough, I, I just keep coming back to, but God. I would like to thank my HLG community um, 
that would be Caitlin, Sarah, Jaslyn, Layla, um, Jacob, Cole, Seth, um, our gamer group, I love you. <laughs> um, I would like to thank my previous college ministers, um, Grace, Ashley, Carrie, um, and then I would like to thank Pastor Lee Wood for being able to help me understand the gospel and watch me grow. I would like to thank Emmanuel Baptist Church for giving me a loving community to grow through and all of my friends and family who have traveled to watch me make this profession of faith.